everybody. This is Sanvi. And welcome back to Sanvi's Arts, also known as Kids Inspiration by Sanvi. Today, as you can see from the title, we are going to check if you are really talented. A lot of people know talented as being able to dance, being able to sing, anything like that. And of course, yes, it's a talent. It's an amazing thing kids can do or even adults can do. But is it really a talent? Everybody does that. But the reason people say talent is because it's what, it's what makes them them. It's what makes them different and unique. So I have 20 things that I have, but just so you know, there are probably lots more things that we should discover as well. But for now, I do have 20 things. Our first one is going to be self-confidence. Now, self-confidence is very important because it can change the way of how you look at yourself. If you say that, oh, I'm such a bad public speaker, I'll never be able to do anything like this, I'm such a horrible person, then that's not self-confidence. You're bringing yourself down just by saying mean comments to yourself. And there's a reason people call it self-confidence. You're confident and proud in yourself. You're proud and confident in your own skin. Self-confidence. You always have to be confident. Always stand for what you believe in. Because even though if the world, if even if the whole world is against you, still stand in your place. And I know that even I've had to have self-confidence before because my friends and during COVID time, when you were allowed to go to school, my friends, they would always wear masks, hand sanitizer, whenever they would see it. And they would always do everything. And of course, my friends were like, Sanvi, you're going to get sick and you're literally so weird because you're not wearing a mask. You're not putting hand sanitizer. And what's with this green tea drinking thing? And of course, I got discouraged myself. But I knew that a lot of people that I knew, they were even able to be healed by green teas and all of those things. So I stood confident and I said back, well, I believe what's right to me, but you believe what's right to you. We both have different opinions, blah, blah, blah. So I was able to have some self-confidence and I was able to stand in myself. And everybody should have self-confidence as well and always believing in themselves. The number two is self-love always 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 love yourself because well first of all you only live once so always make sure that you love yourself because if you don't love yourself you're gonna have a lot of hatred towards you and you're not gonna be able to do anything instead of feeling hate to yourself and maybe to other people as well you always have to have self-love. Love all the skills that you can do. Love every feature or mark on your body. Or just love yourself in general. Because that's really important, even for leaders. And for talented people, every talented person has these as well. So always make sure that you have self-love. Because if you don't have self-love, nobody will love you. And as I love this quote that's from Buddha, is what you think, you become. What you feel, you attract. What you imagine, you create. So if you feel hate towards yourself and you don't feel any love towards yourself, people who also hate themselves and don't like themselves at all or just don't like anybody in general, they're going to be attracted towards you. But if you love yourself and if you're a very positive person and not negative, then people who love themselves and people who are positive are going to come towards you as well. The number three Self-appreciation. Always, always, always appreciate yourself. Because I know that in my class, we always start off meditation. Right after meditation, we do appreciation. Because first of all, you have to appreciate everything. But we don't make them start off with, oh, I appreciate nature. Or, oh, I appreciate family. Yes, they should appreciate that. But the first thing we make them appreciate 
is themselves. As everybody should. Everybody should appreciate themselves. The next, number four. Be a helper. Of course, even if you're going in tough problems and really, very, very hard obstacle courses, always be a helper and always try and support and help people. Because I know that even if I'm going through hard things, like for example, in my art projects, sometimes, well, I had to do the summative and summative is like a really important grade. It takes 55% of your overall grade. And I was struggling with getting the curve of my roller skate on that drawing. But then my friend, she was also struggling with drawing her phone. And since her phone case is a very unique design, it has little wavy textures, she asked me to help. And even though I was going through a tough time, I knew that I would be able to get out of that situation either way, and I would be able to do it. So I helped her. I didn't do it for her. I helped her. There's a difference between doing something for somebody and helping somebody. Helping somebody is when you're supporting and making sure that they're on the right track. Doing something for somebody is like doing their work for them. The next, number five, awareness. Which can also mean, which can also mean mindful as well. You should always be aware. Because if you're not aware, then obviously you're not paying attention to lots of great things. And whenever you are aware, it's actually very important because even when I was learning this lesson, because even I was learning this from my dad, and this lesson I was learning from my dad, my dog, she was actually in this room and she kept bothering me and she kept saying, pet me, pet me, pet me. And of course, since she's way too cute, I obviously did. But I wasn't aware on what my dad was saying. And when I was writing down everything, he said, number 15. But then I was confused because I was on number 14. So we had to go all the way back to see if I had everything correct. So you should always be aware. Because if you're not aware, then you're not going to be able to pay attention to anything. And leaders and talented people, they pay attention closely. The next, number six, self-control on bad habits. Everybody has bad habits. This is brutally honest, but we all have bad habits. Even though if you think that a lot of people and at least one perfect person has really great habits, no, sadly, they don't. Because they should have at least had a bad habit one time in their lifetime or have a bad habit. A lot of people, they can have bad habits throughout their life. But if you're able to have some self-control on those bad habits, then that's very good. Because I know that I would always have the habit of using my phone at night time. And recently, my parents, they've trusted me to leave my phone in my bedroom at night time. And of course, when my parents, they immediately left the room, I was like, Sanvi, go get the phone. This is your only chance. But then I knew that I made a promise to my parents. So I didn't touch the phone. I left it there, and besides, it was far away from me, and it was very cold in the room, so I'd obviously knock it out. But I was able to control that bad habit of mine, and I was able to leave my phone there and go to sleep. The next, number seven, self-criticizing. Even though if you do lots of great things, and you want great comments about yourself, and you want to think great comments about yourself, sometimes... Criticize yourself about bad things that you do. Because if you criticize the bad things that you do to yourself, you're going to start feeling guilty. And of course, it can be a bad feeling at first. But when you start feeling guilty of the bad things that you are doing, then you will slowly and slowly stop doing that because of all the guilt. And then soon all that self-criticizing will help you get rid of the bad things. The next, number eight, generosity, also known as forgiveness. Always be generous. Because if you are not generous, then obviously no one likes a person who's not generous. So always make sure that you are forgiving. 
But don't forgive the people who keep doing bad things to you. Keep doing it and doing it and doing it. Maybe one or two times is fine. But if they just keep doing it and doing the same thing over and over again, maybe try and reconsider if it's good being with them. But always make sure that you're forgiving. Even if somebody makes a pretty big mistake, still try to find a way to forgive them. Because you always have to be generous. And if you're not generous, then that's not going to make you seem like a good person. The next, number nine, humility. You always have to be thankful. Because if you're not thankful, then obviously no one, nobody likes a person who's not thankful. And a lot of celebrities, when they start becoming really, really big and they're like the hottest topic. Yes, they are very popular and they have all the fame and all of their fans. But whenever they, for example, they go and speak. I know a lot of celebrities, they're always like, yes, I know I did this and I did this all by myself and I'm so proud of myself. But that is not true. Even if they say that, that is sadly... Well, obviously, not true. Because even if you make it really big, still try and be thankful for all of the friends, your family, and everybody who has been supporting you. And you always have to be thankful for the people who brought you up to where you are. And even if you're not a celebrity, still be thankful. The next, number 10. Learn from your mistakes. Which, you, which also means... The learner from your mistakes. You always have to learn about your mistakes. I know that I made the mistake of not listening to my dad and playing with my dog while my dad was trying to teach me something very, very important. And I know that that was probably a big mistake and it was probably my second time making it. But always make sure that you do not make mistakes, but obviously that is impossible. I don't know why I said that. But... Always, always, always try and learn from your mistakes. See what you did wrong and see what happened to it. And make sure that you learn from your mistake. But there's a difference between repeating your mistake and saying, Oh yeah, I'm sorry. And there's all of that. I know that in 5th grade, when I was in 5th grade, in elementary, these group of guys... They would always speak in the middle of our teacher. No matter what, they would always speak in the middle while my teacher was speaking. And even though my teacher had lots of conversations with them, like, oh, can you guys please stop? We're trying to teach everybody, and this is really disrespectful. The group of boys would always say, yeah, yeah, okay, we're sorry. But they would keep doing that mistake every single time. And then it got so bad that our own principal, not vice principal or just somebody else, the principal herself had to come up to our classroom and read us a book, teach us a lesson and everything. So always make sure that you actually learn from your mistakes. The next, number 11, have a teaching slash learning attitude. Nobody knows everything. But one thing that I do know for sure, sometimes little kids even need to learn from their parents. Yes, I know that in meetings or in places, sometimes I do say that adults can maybe even learn from kids. Well, because adults, they can even have a learning attitude. But kids, whenever, but to the kids, whenever I say that, I'm not talking about like you guys are in charge of everything. But maybe you have, well not maybe, obviously, try and listen to your parents as well. And even to your teachers, because you should always have a learning attitude. Always try and learn. Maybe you think that you know everything in the whole entire world, and you're so smart. But really, even teachers, they need to be taught and learned as well. Because I know that even I'm in middle school, and sometimes even me and my friends, or maybe my classmates and everybody, sometimes we need to teach our teacher as well. But they're not like, oh, but you guys are trying to teach me now. What if, what if you guys come to the stage and teach us? They're not like that. Because we teachers actually have a learning attitude. And everybody should have a learning attitude as well. Then number 12, be a good listener. Which is also paragraph, par, sorry, paraphrasing and note taking. Always be a good listener. 
Because if you're not a good listener, then obviously it's not going to help you. Listeners, they take down notes, but they don't write down every single word the teacher says. They paraphrase it. And they do note taking. Because even everybody, everybody in the whole entire world, obviously, they always take notes and they paraphrase. Well, not everybody, but everybody should be paraphrasing. But you should always be listening, even if you have a good memory or everything. Even though if you have a good memory, still write it down. Because you can't write it down in your brain, obviously. So at least write it down on a few notes. Because then, you're a really, really great listener. The next, number 13, critical thinker. Critical thinkers always think positive. They are never negative. They never think about all the bad possibilities. They never think about bad experiences. And for example, if they are going to a party or somewhere to speak, because I know that even I went to a party and program to speak. Let me tell you my experience. I wasn't really the best positive critical thinker when I was speaking. Because here's the thing. Yesterday I went to... But I know that everybody should always be positive. And I know that. Yes, because I know that. In that party, I was actually very scared and very ashamed. Because nobody was listening at me. And I was also very scared. And I was thinking very negative. Because here's the thing. Everybody and every kid was speaking about Dose, Jot, Diwali, or Dihar. If you guys call it that. If I pronounce it incorrectly, then I'm sorry. But every kid and every adult was talking about that, even including my dad. And you want to know what I was speaking about? Technology. Yes, technology problems and families. And of course, I was embarrassed myself. And I wasn't really the best critical thinker. But then as I started to go up to the stage, I started being a great critical thinker. And I was like, oh, I got this, and I'm going to be the best one ever. And I'm going to make sure that I'm speaking wonderfully. And that is that. The next, number 14, proactive. Always, 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 always be prepared for any challenge. And make sure that you take actions. Because, first of all, always be prepared for any challenges. Always, because you never know if a challenge is ever going to come by. So always make sure that you are proactive and you always take lots of actions. The next, number 15, goal setting. I know that in my school, I recently started, well, yeah, we had this little class between our first and second period, and it's called regular time. Regular time is basically where you are just study hall, or reading. But every Monday, we always do something called goal setting, or what we call second step. And that is basically where we are basically making our short-term goal and our long-term goal. Right now, we are taking our long-term goal, where we're writing it down on our iPads, and we should always be setting goals, because goals, they can be really helpful as well. The next number 16, priority. Set a priority. Because, first things first. If something is first, do it first. If something is last, do it last. If something is in between, do it in between. Because setting a priority, you have to do everything in order. Because, first of all, it's a priority. And you're placing it from most important, important to something that you can do later. And that won't do anything to you. So always make sure that you set priorities because priorities can be really important. The next, number 17, think win-win. Thinking win-win is actually really important because whenever you do think win-win, then you are able to basically appreciate everybody and you don't always think of bad things because you're always going to be thinking positive either way. The next, number 18, first understand then convinced, then convince, also known as be understood. If you want somebody to understand you, then obviously you should understand the person first. And once you're able to understand the person, this also goes to kids too, 
kids, if you are ever, if your kid, if, well, if, obviously, if your parents are ever lecturing you or telling you lots of great things that could really help you, don't be like, oh, blah, 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 no. First, understand why they're mad at you, because they're actually never mad at you. They care and love for you, but they're mad because they're, because you're not listening to them. And imagine being a parent, and you're taking care of the same annoying kid, you. I'm sorry, but think of that. And what, wouldn't you get frustrated if you were trying to tell your kid something, but they wouldn't listen? So always, always, always understand. And then once you understand, try to make sure if your sentence will help your parents or anybody to be convinced or people can understand you. The next, number 19, synergize. Always, always, always be a team player. Because if you're not a team player, and obviously that's not really the best thing. And if you want to do something independent, then honestly, yes, being independent is really good. But sometimes being a team player is better. So if somebody is doing a project, then always make sure that you are going to be a team player. And you're going to do as much as you can as well. And not just projects, but just being a team player in general. And always be involved in lots of great things. The next, our last one, which is number 20. Number 20 is consistency slash practice slash growth mindset. Always be consistent with everything that you have. Because if you're trying to do some new goals or anything new in general, always make sure that you are consistent and you practice something great every single day. And if you like doing something that not a lot of people like to do, then always practice it and always have consistency. Because when you, whenever you're consistent with something, then it can actually help your brain to grow. And you're able to have a growth mindset. So always make sure that you practice anything, anything that you're good at or anything that makes you unique. And always practice and be consistent at it. This is all I have for today. And I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. If you guys want more videos like this, please follow my page. And also make sure that you like this video too. But for now, I'll see you guys soon in our next video. Bye-bye.